welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about some new makeup that we'll be releasing. These products I don't have in hand. We're just going to take a look at what's going to be releasing on Trend Mood and see, you know, is it something I want to buy? Is that something you guys want to buy? Put it down in the comments below. I know there's a lot of content creators that do content like this, and I just want to try it. If you guys like it, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button and commenting below. Hey, Casey, I really enjoy this kind of content, and I will do more of it. Um, let's just go ahead and get into it. It looks like it, it's starting to look like, guys, that the new trend is now going to be transfer-proof lipsticks. Um, it looks like Dior is coming out with a forever transfer-proof lipstick for $42, and they'll have 16 shades. It's supposed to be hydrating, long-wearing, transfer-proof, um, and that will be out July 21st. My thoughts on this is... I'm just not into Dior. Is that like, is that like a thing nowadays? Like, I know that Dior is a classic, but going into this economy we're in, I just don't know that I'm willing personally to do $42 lipstick. I just don't see this also blowing up um, with the other transfer proof lipsticks that are out. Um, I don't know if this one's going to get lost in the mix, so it wouldn't be even worth it for me to buy for even purposes of it. But if that's something that you guys want, put in the comments below. I'll blow $42 on it. That's not, that's not the problem. Um, you know, and then also, I did not see it on Trend Mood, but um, there is new transfer proof lipsticks from Stila as well. I did buy one of those lipsticks. So we'll be trying that one out again with that one. It says on the thing that's supposed to be like mask proof and, and transfer proof and stuff like that. So I don't know if this has been in the works to produce these lipsticks and make these lipsticks since the pandemic and now they're finally hitting markets. Um, but yes, Dior has thrown their lipstick in the mix. And I just don't know that I'm that thrilled, honestly, to spend $42 on a lipstick. Even the packaging is just kind of like, eh, it's okay. Patrick Ta has some brow products. And honestly, I don't mean to roast Patrick Ta, but I'm just not impressed with the eyeshadow palettes and the products that I, I've bought from him. The laminate brow was like fucking flake city in my brows wasn't a fan wasn't finding the eyeshadow palettes um especially the price at nearly a 70 dollar price point at 68 dollars is way too high um and i have tried the blushes which i found to be too pigmented and not friendly for the average user and i find that a lot of his products are just not up to standard for me so and i really don't need a brow pencil so i won't be picking that up i don't even think anyone else is really interested in that because only like 2700 people hit the like button on that one i think that the brow pencil is perfect to buy at the drugstore wet and wild color pop nyx they all make one and they all work and they're all really good in fact i think we're kind of moving away from the pencil i think we will move away for from the pencil and go a different route as far as waxes and powders and stuff like that i don't know that that's really worth it honestly for me um, Dior is also coming out with a compact, uh, Forever Natural Velvet Compact Foundation. No transfer, 24 hours naturally matte coverage that reduces shine and delivers a smooth, refined skin texture with natural origin ingredients with a weightless formula that controls shine without drying at a whopping $60. I will pass. I absolutely would. Oh, God. Ooh. Look at the shade range on this. This is like, this is bad. That's not even good. Yeah, skip $60. Yeah, no thank you. Ooh, this is going to be a hot one, I think. The, the new e.l.f. Um, what are these called? Is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. 
liquid filter. So it's supposed to probably be like the Charlotte Tilbury filter, um, Hollywood light filter, whatever that thing's called. And so I did buy one of these actually um, a couple days ago. So I should be getting that in. That will be up for review here. I do not have Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter, that's what it's called. I don't have that, um, so I will actually be comparing this to the Maybelline product that's similar to it. Um, I'm not hopeful that this is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, but I do think it's probably going to be better than the Maybelline one, and I think that this is going to be a pretty exciting release from e.l.f. We're always excited, at least I'm always excited to see some e.l.f. products come out, especially if it's a good product, um, and this looks like it could at least be a good product for sale, whether or not it's a good product to put on your skin. I recommend to other people. This is at a $14 price point, which I think is a little high. I'm not going to lie. I really think that these are tipping $14 for that product is tipping into the mid-range or at least used to be the mid-range like do we even do we even know what the mid-range is now at the drugstore um but it's really creeping up there I think personally I think that I would have priced these at about $10 or $8 $14 does seem a little high so I'm going to be a lot harder on the product um because I think there's other glowy products on the market um that you may already have in your collection and i like to save you money if i can and only recommend you guys quality products we only want quality products in our collections so that's all i'm planning on recommending now this is already released but the too Faced has come out with a new chocolate palette and it is like not even worth talking about really. It looks like everything else has got, I mean honestly it looks like their fall palettes that they normally come out with to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I think I have, I had, I had, I don't have anymore. I got rid of all their palettes. So um, I can't remember what the fall palette was called, Pumpkin Spice I think. It looks super similar. All of their shit looks the same. They need to re renovate their brand and their look and their procs that they're releasing. Even in the swatches from Trend Mood, she has a little video playing right now. It looks lackluster. It doesn't look like it's worth your money. I think that they needed to go back to the drawing board and think of something new, honestly. I don't think eyeshadow palettes are the way to go right now. The way to go is skin um, and blushes and apparently lip products. So um, moving forward here, I'm not going to spend any more Okay, time. I did buy these. The Urban Decay came out with a lippy Urban Decay Lip Bond Glossy Liquid Lipstick. Long lasting lipstick provides instant shine and pigmentation with 12 shades. Their shades are like really weird on that one. It's $25. It looks actually very similar in shape at least to the Maybelline Lip Vinyls. I'm curious to see if it's exactly the same product and share it with you guys. I don't personally like the Maybelline Lip Finals. It gives me a tackier feeling than the ink lipsticks, and I hate that tacky feeling. Um, so we'll see. If I can get the Urban Decay one and it's $25 without a tack and it does last a long time, then I'd be down for that. Makeup Forever also came out with a Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever 24 hour long wear lipstick weightless transfer proof lipsticks that in provides intense color smoothing matte finish in 10 shades $25 on that one. I picked one up in a red shade to try. Um, so yeah like I said the theme at this very current moment is long wearing lipsticks. That's what we're focused on as well as skincare related foundations. Um, that is what's trending here in 2022. I called it earlier this year, but now we're about seven months deep into the year and um, that's kind of just what we got going on here. Um, if you guys see any more long wearing lipsticks you guys want, let me know. There'll be a video coming soon. I'm going to test them all out, come out with a consensus of what's good and what's bad because I really do think that there's definitely a market for long wear lipsticks for sure and I think that for a special occasion, if you want something you can wear to work that you don't have to touch up, if you don't have time to touch it up, if you're getting married or something like that, that's very useful information to have like actually what is the best long wearing lipstick. So if I could get down to the bottom of what it is and share it with you guys I'd be more happy to do so um 
Moving along, I'm kind of excited about this, but I'm going to tame down my excitement because the price tag's a little high. But Hourglass is coming out with Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Um, and this foundation is supposed to be a blurring foundation uh, that minimizes the look of imperfections and smooths the skin, evens the skin. It got a glow, it's got a glow to it. It's supposed to be transfer resistant, immunity and sweat resistant. It's supposed to be weightless and buildable, natural coverage. And it's supposed to have a light diffusing effect for $58. I will be picking this up to try it out. Um, I will... I will hope that it's going to be worth the $58 price point. It seems pretty good. The shade range doesn't seem bad. I see other people I see other people complaining about their shade range. Um, I can't really tell in the pictures that are on Trend Moods website, so we'll have to see when that comes out. But I'm most excited for that foundation to come out. There's another foundation here as well that I did end up buying already and that's the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear and Glow Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and this just the packaging on this one it just got me it reeled me in the white oh my god it's beautiful I don't know why that's what draws me in I've already purchased this it's on the way to me this is at $47 and this one is supposed to be 24-hour healthy looking glow serum foundation with a buildable coverage. SPF 27. What a random number. <laughs> 27. All right. Uh, plus hyaluronic acid, mandelic acids to hydrate and smooth the skin for a natural glowy finish. This is supposed to be medium coverage. Let's fit in our medium coverage skincare foundations this year. It's supposed to be transfer resistant and blendable so I'm super stoked to get that one and try that one out for you guys so hopefully you guys are excited to see the kind of content coming up soon um another thing that I'm excited for and it's really teased but no release date but Trend Moon has a picture of some products that uh Charlotte Tilbury has teased it looks like in the mix there are some concealers which we're not sure on we could give a shit less about them kissing lipsticks fuck that I want that concealer and this concealer there's no news on that one so sneak peek available soon possibly Charlotte Tilbury concealers also Too Faced in the mix of their chocolate bar bullshit that they always put out they also have a born this way ethereal light concealer coming out so we have some concealers coming out so stay tuned I'll buy them try them kick out a video and let you guys know what's worth it what's not worth it um it looks like Too Faced also came out with natural chocolate bronzers I'm so guessing and they're just like everything else on the market there's literally nothing special about the things that they put out but I'm excited for that ethereal light concealer actually what are your guys's thoughts on that I mean I think that that could be good I don't know we'll continue I'm more excited about the Charlotte Tilbury one I think that Charlotte Tilbury has been blown up a lot on social media and to be honest a lot of the products I don't think are worth the money. I'm going to be perfectly frank with you. I don't think they're worth the money. I think they're mediocre and I think that because of the name and the packaging they hold more weight in the beauty community and I don't think it's well deserved. There's other products on the market that deserve hype and I think that Charlotte Tilbury it's not one of them sorry but I am excited for that concealer and test it out for you guys could be complete shit the concealer that I've tried recently is the Huda Beauty um, one and I'm just not impressed if you watch any of the other videos that I have it made it into makeup that I bought that I didn't like video so go ahead and watch that video and see kind of my thoughts and reasoning why but not a fan not a fan in fact I'm not even seeing any TikTokers or YouTubers really talking about it. It really does age the under eye. Um, that's pretty much it. 
that I see that's coming up soon. A lot of these products I, I am going to pick up and test for TikTok and YouTube purposes. If you guys see anything come out that you would like me to test out or have any suggestions, please, please, please leave them in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. I surely appreciate you guys watching my video today. I do from the bottom of my heart appreciate your viewership. If you've made it this far, that that's really special. I really appreciate that. I also hope that you have a great day. Take care.